Great to have your company for the quarterfinals of the Corona Open J Base. Top six on the World Surf League Championship Tour for the women. The wild card, Bianca Batendar, continues her great run through this contest, fighting through injury, but up against Coco Ho in what should be a great battle. Some movement out the back at the moment. This is Bianca Batendar, her first ride into the quarterfinals, the wild card. Looking to start strong against Coco Ho and put some pressure on. Nice hook off the top there. She's had impeccable timing. Let's see, Bianca. It's just good to see the ladies get going. I think they really want to start this heat out and avoid a restart. Still gets one hit in on this wave, ups out of it, runs off without her. Little caught behind there. Coco on a bigger wave on the outside. Is going to get caught behind on that first section. I think we'll see the surfers just shift their position a little out there at the moment. Yeah, so. had Coco come around that section. That wave seemed to have a beautiful tapered wall. And Coco is going to identify this one as the best opportunity to lock in an excellent score. Takes a drop. Paces herself off the bottom to set up this first turn. Drawing that move out nicely. But keeping some speed for this section. Nice steep piece of wall to dig into. Trying to get under the lip. Just gets pushed outside. That wave was moving pretty quickly. So she opted out. But those barrels are going to start to open up. We saw that during the hold. There was some good tube rides through the inside section. Even in paddling, you can see Bianca's comfort level in this lineup. She's not frantically trying to get to the horizon to uh, avoid getting these waves on the head. As you see, Coco locking in on this wave best wave of the heat so far finds a section drives around it then goes for this cutback maneuver you can see though that this wave starts to race on that section coco just got held behind there and like you said it almost looked like she was in two minds about what she wanted to do on that section thank you pete unbelievable performance from tatiana can she keep it rolling through this event she'll be hard to stop if she does as will be anka batendar who's really starting to Clicking the gear here. Beautiful hit off the top. And again, just drawing that bottom turn out. So really smooth lines between turns. Just comfortable on this long stretched out wall. And again, just thinking about this last hit. Eyeing off the section for such a long period of time before deciding what move she's going to go for. It's starting to pay off and Bianca just lucks into this beautiful wave can see that she's always looking down the line but then once she commits to that turn she really brings it all the way around which is so important tags that lip a lot of spray displaced so just great timing and you can tell by the water that's uh, spraying off her fins and then like you said Bianca spending a lot of time looking down that line looking where to uh, place that finishing move and elects not to hit it so was there opportunity to add more points we'll see but i love the surfing that she did in the lead up on this wave like i mentioned just watch her eye line she's always just looking down and then when she commits that turn she commits fully make sure that she completes it but then looks back up at that lip identifies a section to hit and then hammers it home so bianca betendach is going to lock in by far the best wave of the heat and we'll see how the situation lands after that. Tickets are on sale now for the Surf Ranch Pro, presented by Hurley. Go to wslsurfranchpro.com to get your tickets now. It's going to be a great show. We'll see uh, all kinds of pressure piled onto the Championship Tour surfers. We see the first CT event unfold there right now, out in the lineup though. Perfect conditions provided by Mother Nature. And Bianca Batenda is absolutely loving life at the moment in front of this hometown crowd. Dropped a seven on her previous wave. And that one's going to help her push just a little further ahead of Coco Ho. Well, your wish is going to be granted. Here we go, Coco dropping in. That cool compact style on show. And she works her way through that first carb. Nice piece of water standing up here all style as she glides through another big arcing maneuver needs to mix things up through this inside track setting this wave up well potentially going for the barrel she's going to opt out of that one pulls through the back so well put together until that point but just didn't have that big explosive finish 12 and a half minutes to go okay mona had her best wave just now 
Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be Coco's best wave so far. But look at this bottom turn that she's laying down, just getting so tight to that pocket and just swiveling through those maneuvers. So Coco waiting for the opportunity to get more vertical on this wave. You can tell that she's looking for that critical section to line up. Again, we thought she was going to pull in there, but that wave just shutting down on her. So not getting the dynamic finish. I think just the ability to move water off the top of these waves as well, it always adds to the, the strength of that turn. And Bianca's been throwing huge fans of spray. Coco just a little more compact in her approach in the pocket. Hasn't been generating the same height in her spray. Bianca's going to bail out of this one. Didn't see more than a 5-3-3 there. Yeah, well. Huge pod of dolphins moving through the lineup at the moment. And now Coco with five minutes, five and a half minutes remaining. She's out the back. She's going to hold on to priority. You can see her just cruising down the line. Connects with her surfboard there on the jump off too. So just adding insult to injury. It is a true test of your nerves. Leaving it so late in the game to answer back with a substantial stop score. Well, big lump in the wall of this wave, but... Coco, with that equipment moving, just powers down the line. So this will be a shot at it just on two minutes ago. Chasing a 7.6, drives into the first section and stuffs the rail. She's going to go down. And out the back, Bianca is going to have a big opportunity now with priority to shut this heat down. It's been a, a long time. But Bianca, it looks like she's going to make the semifinals here. And the South African crowd is absolutely going to love it. And we'll hear them light up here as this one gets counted down. The 24-year-old is on her way. Coco Ho showed great form earlier on, but she is out of the contest.